Munchies, I'm Alicia. Welcome if you're new. Today I've got another compilation video for you. It is longer and it includes all slow cooker meals. Slow cooker and sheet pan dinners make weeknight cooking so much easier for me. I actually love to meal prep slow cooker meals to cook later so that I can have fresh cooked meals throughout the week. It's a great option if you're like me and you're not as huge on leftovers, but still want a meal prep to stay on track. Enjoy this compilation video. All of the recipes are from my sheet pan and slow cooker recipes ebook. You can can get it or any ebook package of your choice for 15% off using the code slowcook at checkout at mindovermunch.com slash ebooks. So let's get to the easiest veggie packed slow cooker chili. And this one is featured in my meal prep ignite course. Ground meat of choice. I have beef today, onion, diced tomatoes and chilies, diced tomatoes, beans of choice, zucchini, broccoli rice, broth, chili powder, and salt go into a large freezer bag. You can also store the meat or broth separately if you don't have a bag that's large enough. This baby is ready to store in the fridge or freezer until you need it. If you freeze it, you're gonna wanna thaw it out in the fridge the day before you cook it. When you're ready to eat it, dump that baby into your slow cooker, mix and mash it up so the meat is crumbled and let it go slow and low. Serve with your favorite garnishes. I love to veggie pack my chili with broccoli rice because you don't even know it's there. Between those veggies, the healthy carbs from the legumes and tomatoes and the ground beef, we have got a complete meal. So fun and so much flavor without doing any work or using that many ingredients. I've got a slow cooker recipe for fajita style beef. Slow cooker meals make meal prep easier because they do all the work for you, which means they make meal prep day easier. But one of my favorite things about slow cooker recipes is that I can prep them on prep day to enjoy later in the week. That way I don't have to eat leftovers. I add everything to a freezer bag, boneless beef chuck shoulder roast with the fat trimmed, red bell pepper, yellow bell pepper, green bell pepper, sliced onion, garlic, lime juice, chili powder, cumin, paprika, and salt. Remove as much air as possible from that bag. Now you can refrigerate for a few days until you need to cook or you can freeze it for later and then thaw it out in the fridge the day before you wanna eat it. Whenever the time is right, simply add the entire bag to your slow cooker, mix and cover. For me, this is a weekday morning and then I can let it go. Cook low and slow about eight hours and then when I get home, I have dinner waiting. I can serve that with some rice that I prepped on my meal prep day, on a salad, or with tortillas. The slow cooker does all the work to make this tender, so flavorful, it tastes like a meal someone else must have made for me. And remember, you can almost always adjust slow cooker meals really easily. Swap out ingredients, add or sub out spices or seasonings, it's up to you. Coconut lamb and lentil curry. As you know, in this series, I'm specifically showing you how to make these meals for meal prep purposes. So this is how I prep this meal on prep day to use later on. To a large freezer bag, I add ground lamb, lentils, crushed tomatoes, cauliflower florets, frozen peas, onion, coconut milk, garlic, and a ton of spices. I've got garlic powder, onion powder, garam masala, curry powder, paprika, chili powder, turmeric, ginger powder, and of course, salt and pepper. I'm going to refrigerate that until the day I wanna cook it, or I could freeze it for later use. The day I wanna eat it, in the morning, I add the contents to the slow cooker, mash up the meat so it's integrated, and add in some vegetable broth. Now you could actually add this broth to your bag, but it's easy for me to add it when cooking and then I don't have to deal with a big liquidy bag in the fridge. I could have also left out the coconut milk. Sometimes I'll leave out the meat. It just depends on the recipe, but know that there's no right or wrong here. It's just what works for you and what you have available to you. Everything is in the slow cooker. Then I can mix it up, cover, and let it go. I like lamb low and slow. So I get home at the end of the day, the house smells delicious, and I can add in some spinach about 30 minutes before I wanna eat it. That will wilt down and add even more veggies without you noticing. Ah, uh, slow cooker meals, they make me look so good. This smells delicious, it tastes amazing. There's so much flavor from those spices and just the amount of time it has cooked. I've got protein from the lamb, carbs from the lentils, healthy fat from the coconut milk, and tons of veggies from the cauliflower, spinach, onion, and peas. This is a balanced meal that I can get behind and I don't need any other components to enjoy it. I hope you're as excited as I am about this cilantro lime chicken. For meal prepping, I add everything to a freezer bag, cubed chicken breast, green and yellow bell pepper, chopped zucchini, red onion, frozen corn, black beans, garlic, broth, cilantro, lime juice, 
cumin, and salt and pep. Get all of that air out, close it up, and store in the fridge or freezer. The day that I'm ready to eat, I add to the slow cooker and cook low and slow. This is pretty balanced as is. I've got my protein from my chicken, carbs from my beans and corn, and veggies from those peppers, zucchini, and onion. But you can totally serve it with tortillas on a salad or even as a burrito bowl with rice. Add your favorite Mexican-inspired toppings and enjoy. I love the combination of lime and cilantro with vegetables. It's so fresh and light. Plus, anything with corn is pretty much guaranteed to be delicious. I've got a slow cooker meal that is going to take you to Flavor Town, these pineapple Asian turkey lettuce wraps. For meal prepping, I add everything to a large freezer safe bag. Ground turkey, shaved Brussels sprouts, mushrooms, red bell pepper, carrots, onion, water chestnuts, which are my favorite, garlic, broth, pineapple juice, soy sauce or coconut aminos, which is a soy sauce substitute, ketchup, pineapple chunks, crushed pineapple, sriracha, which is optional but pairs super well and gives it a nice kick, and some salt. Remove the air, seal it up, and refrigerate or freeze. Of course, feel free to get creative with your favorite veggies. Add everything to the slow cooker, break up the meat, and cover to cook. Low and slow is my favorite way. I've got protein from the turkey, tons of veggies, and my carbs are really coming from the starchier carrots and water chestnuts, as well as that pineapple. I can eat this as is with lettuce wraps, or I could serve it on a salad or even with a bed of rice or cauliflower rice. The pineapple and soy sauce gives this so much sweet and savory flavor. This is when veggies are fun to eat. We've got a vegan white bean chili soup. For meal prepping, to a large freezer bag, I add canned green chilies, white beans, garlic, carrots, various colored bell peppers, onion, jalapenos, seeded if you don't want the heat, cumin, oregano, cloves, red pepper, and salt and pep to taste. Get all of that air out and seal it up. You can refrigerate or freeze it for later. Then to cook, add to your slow cooker with broth, which you can totally add when you prepare in the bag as well. I just don't like to deal with the liquid, so I'm adding it later because it's so easy. Let it go and you'll come back to a delicious chili soup. Fun to eat with a spoon or serve it over pasta, rice, or quinoa. I am not a fan of spicy, but I love the flavor of jalapeno. By adding those babies in seeded, I get all of that flavor without having to worry about the heat. And there are so many delicious veggies in this. To prep this one, to a freezer safe bag, I add chicken thighs, drained and quartered canned artichokes, fire roasted tomatoes, white beans, sliced mushrooms, onion, lemon juice, white wine, broth, garlic, grass fed butter, ghee or light olive oil, capers, thyme, salt, and pepper. Seal it up tightly as free of air as possible and refrigerate or freeze. The day you want to make it, pour it into your slow cooker and let it do the work for you. 30 minutes before you're done, add spinach, allow that to wilt, and then stir it in to incorporate. Oh yes, chicken thighs give this dish so much more flavor because remember, fat equals flavor, and the combination of the white beans, tomatoes, artichokes, and chicken in the wine and lemon sauce is so light and refreshing. This is creamy without any dairy at all, and I love using some fresh herbs to really brighten it up. This sweet sesame chicken will not let you down and the rice is in the actual meal. For prep, I add to a freezer bag onion, broccoli, cauliflower, carrots, honey, soy sauce, ketchup, sesame oil, and salt and pep. I refrigerate or freeze until ready to use. Then I can add all of that to a slow cooker along with my chicken thighs and some broth. Now I could add the broth to the freezer bag too, but sometimes if it's a larger amount, I'll wait until cooking so that I don't have to deal with all of the liquid in the bag or worry about it leaking. I cover and let that go all day. Before serving, I come back, remove the chicken from the cooker and stir in some instant brown rice. Then I return the chicken and cover. Let it stand for five to 10 minutes until the rice is tender. Stir and serve. This dish is sweet and savory with an Asian inspired flair that tastes delicious, but I especially love that the rice can easily be added at the end and doesn't need to be cooked separately. So cool. What an easy way to get my balanced meal. 
we are finishing off with a fun twist on a classic slow cooker meal, a chicken pot roast. For meal prepping, I add baby potatoes, baby carrots, broccoli, celery, pearl onions, frozen peas, chicken thighs, broth, garlic, Worcestershire sauce, butter or light olive oil, fresh thyme, and salt and pepper to a freezer safe bag. Get the air out, seal it up, and store in the fridge or freezer for later. When you're ready to enjoy, add that baby to your slow cooker and cook low and slow. The chicken thighs still have some flavorful fat, so don't worry, you aren't gonna miss out on the flavor in this dish just because you aren't using beef. Meat and potatoes with veggies is just a classic, hard to beat dish, and I think you'll agree once you try this easy recipe.